Yo, my name is Benjamin and in this video I'm excited to introduce CMS support for scroll sections. This new feature unlocks new use cases for both linking and scroll effects. So let's dive into our demo project to see how this works. So let me bring up the preview to show you what we have so far. So we have a fixed sidebar and then a scrollable list of images. The images have a little parallax effect and none of the links in our sidebar do anything just yet. All of the content in our demo project is sourced from a single CMS collection. And this collection currently contains four items. Now let me jump back to the canvas to show you the collection lists. This is the first one and it's repeating an item component for every item in our collection. And then this is the second one that actually visualizes all of the images. And we would like to connect the two. So clicking on any item on the left scrolls the page to the matching item on the right. Plus it would be ideal if the items in the sidebar had an active state showing you which item we're currently viewing. So I'll start by adding a scroll section to every image in the collection list on the right. And we can call this card or project. I'll go ahead and call this one project. And because layers within a collection list get repeated, we only have to define a section once. Let's start by fixing our sidebar. I'll select the component here and I'll double click to show you how it's set up. This component has two variants, one called inactive and one called active that highlights the item. Let's start by connecting the title variable to the title field from the CMS, making each item unique. That's much better. Next, let's add our links. Our sections are on the home page. They're called project. And having selected our section, I'm now presented with a new property called item. And Framer now detects that our section exists four times on our page, one for each item in our collection. So we could use this to link to a section within a specific item in our collection like the Nodos project here. However, doing this means that every single one of our links always points to the same item. Now we would like for each of our links in the sidebar to point to the matching item from our CMS collection. To do this, we can go back to our link and instead of pointing item to a specific one, we can click on the little plus here to use the slug variable. The slug is the unique identifier for every single item in our collection. And as you can see, I can now click any one of these links to smoothly scroll the page to the matching section from within our collection lists. Now we can apply this same concept to scroll effects. So let me add a scroll variant to the items within our collection list. I'll select section in view as the trigger, set the viewport to center, and I'll select the project section, and I'll again turn item into a variable to reference the slug. I'll switch the variant to active, and just like that, we connected the two collection lists. And as I scroll past the page, the corresponding item in the sidebar will highlight. And this also now works on click. So every item in the left hand sidebar has a link that points to the matching section on the right. Plus they have a scroll variant effect that checks if said section is in view. And if it is, it switches the variant to active. Next, let's add a scroll animation effect to our cards on the right. I'll set the trigger to section in view 
And I'll again select the project section and set item to the slug variable. Viewport to center, replay to yes. And then for the effects, I wanna dim the inactive ones and push them a little bit to the right. And I'll keep the transition for now. So we can have a look at what this does so far. So our effect is working, but I think the transition is a little fast. So let's go back and make this just a little bit slower. I'll reopen the scroll animation and I'll set the enter and exit transition to a lower stiffness value of about 200. And after republishing, that's feeling a lot smoother. And we have this cool layered effect happening where we have our scroll speed parallax on the image and the dimming and X offset happening on the wrapper of the image. Finally, we can also add some scroll animation effects to the text layers in our cards. And I think you know the drill by now. We'll again use section in view and we'll make sure that the item is set to the slug variable. This ensures that it works for every single item in our collection list. And I'll simply have this one appear from the bottom. And what I can do now is right click on our text layer and hit copy effects. And I'll right click on the other text layer and I'll paste the effect. And then I'll add a bit of delay between the two. I'm thinking 0.1 for the first and 0.2 for the second one. And now let's have a look at the final result. Every item in the sidebar correctly highlights and smoothly scrolls to the matching section. Plus, every image fades in from the right and has a little staggered text animation within it. And all of this with content that's sourced from the CMS, both for the links and for the images. Now you can get creative in applying these features as these features unlock new types of websites to be designed in Framer using CMS content and concepts like linking, smooth scrolling, scroll variants, scroll transforms, and scroll animations. And that's pretty much it for this update video. You can find remix links for these demos in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope you like these new features and stay tuned for more updates coming soon.